I think the most critical issue facing the nation, the civil rights issue of our time, is this issue of education. I tell people we... Education uh, in urban schools across the country uh, has reached a crisis point. Uh, it's the new civil rights issue of our time. Uh, what I've said is we don't have uh, the National Guard uh, or the U.S. Army uh, blocking the schoolhouse door, but the lack of success uh, in those schools is as insidious uh, as it was during Jim Crow. There's only a finite amount of money that I'm going to get. Seven billion, that's it. Yeah. Five point nine comes from the state. Another one point one comes out of the federal government. The title money goes directly into those schools. It is not shared across the system. What happens is almost a reverse Robin Hood effect, where money from the federal government in Title I earmarked for poor kids actually goes to pay for teachers in the more wealthy neighborhoods in the same school district. School finance has been focused on issues of inequities for over a century. If we have enough money so that whatever John or Jane needs, we have the resources for them to get the education they need and meet the standards themselves, then we've really solved virtually all the equity problems. That's easier said than done because it's not always clear how much that should be. And if we even knew that, it's not always clear whether we have the will to raise that or to distribute it in ways that would go to those places. I don't care how much money we get from Washington with an economic stimulus or how much more money, if we use it in the same way and the same patterns we have historically, we will never close the achievement gap for black and brown and poor students in this state. Certainly we have additional challenges at many of our uh, urban schools that have constant turnover principles, uh, revolving doors uh, faculty. Uh, we don't have that stability in those communities. I visited an urban school in Southern California where they had four classes watching a film. I said, what class is this? History? In fact, the film was on the Louisiana Purchase. They said, no, two science classes, two math classes. We didn't have teachers for the classes. So, and this was, you know, the school year had already begun. Do I believe that institutional racism exists through funding inequities, even facilities inequities, through academic inequities? Absolutely. If you have a youngster who's three years behind and he makes a grade growth, that's great. But he's still two years behind and they moved up another grade. He's now three years again. So you see, we need additional funds, additional training for those teachers because the research I've read, even the best teacher, if you've got 25 or 30 in your classroom and you've got 10 kids that are a year behind, probably the most you're going to get is four to five of them to make up a full year. The prime time for gang joining is really between the ages of 10 and 15. The challenge is that it's actually expanding downwards. So you have at least anecdotal evidence that kids are being recruited sometimes as young as eight and nine years old into gangs. Really that 10 to 15 year old age, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade is really the prime time. And the research suggests that if we can actually prevent kids from joining gangs, or if they join a gang, get them out of a gang, or they reach about the age of 15, the likelihood of them being in a gang or joining a gang after that diminishes dramatically. The problem is if they're in a street gang after about 16 years old, the likelihood of them becoming a permanent fixture in our criminal justice system, it just skyrockets. Prosecutors, they get to see this longitudinal study that comes in every file. And their job is to take that file and go prosecute it and put somebody in jail. Well, they see, well, look, if someone just intervened here when the kid was 11, this file wouldn't be in my inbox. Kids in places across the city from East L.A., Watts, to Pacoima, Wilmington, uh, they don't know that they are supposed to fail.